वेलकम बैक आई नो आई नो द लास्ट वीडियो बिकेम वेरी बिग बट ट्रस्ट मी वी हैंडल अ लॉट ऑफ सिनारियोज इन दैट वन वीडियो इट सेल्फ वी मेड द चैलेंज सेक्शन वी मेड द टेस्ट कंटेनर वी मेड द ट्राई अगेन सेक्शन विच इज क्वाइट अ बिग थिंग थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन जस्ट अ सिंगल वीडियो बट डोंट वरी आई विल नॉट मेक बिगर वीडियोज आई एल ट्राई टू नॉट मेक बिगर वीडियोज फ्रॉम नाउ एटलीस्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स एम टू बिल्ड आर टाइपिंग चैलेंज कंटेनर विच विल बी अ चाइल्ड ऑफ टेस्ट कंटेनर एंड आर चैलेंज डिटेल कार्ड्स सो देर विल बी थ्री चैलेंज डिटेल्स कार्ड विच आर गोइंग टू बी दी वर्ड्स द कैरेक्टर्स एंड द स्पीड वी विल हैंडल दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो येस लेट्स गेट ऑन टू इट लेट्स ओपन आर टेक्सट राइटर एंड आर फ्लैश टाइप सो येस लेट अस क्लोज द ट्राई अगेन एंड द नैब एंड ऑल द अदर सेक्शंस so try again uh, test container is good enough so inside test container let us for now comment out the try again because we don't need to show it to comment out you can use this syntax multi line con uh, comment and now here i am going to add a typing challenge container let's give it a class i am going to name it as typing challenge container this should be good enough and let's also give a data hyphen aos equal to fade up so that it can have some animations on reveal so yes inside this for now let's just give a simple h1 saying this is the test looks super cool and awesome so here we have this is the test so now instead of this is the test we actually want to show the typing challenge container let's go back to our architecture and then and in our architecture we can easily see that inside our test container we have to show conditionally the typing challenge container inside which we have to show the challenge detail cards so this is the typing challenge container and these are the challenge detail cards let's get on to building it i hope that you guys are actually getting excited about building all this stuff completely from scratch this is something that you should be really pr proud of that you are building a whole application that you can show off to your friends that you built it and which they can use to test their speed typing speed as well so yes as always let's create a completely new container or a component which i'm going to call typing challenge container a new folder for it a new component jsx component for it i did a small spelling mistake let's name it as jsx and a css file for it as well as always so let's have import react and let's have a functional component so everything we are making is functional here again let's have it uh, so yes it's going to take words and characters and speed from the props as you can see here uh, it shows the words number of words that we have typed number of characters number of words per minute, minute and so on so yes that it's going to take in as props so let us destructure it words characters and um, wpm i think yeah that should be a good name and inside that firstly i am going to have a container as always typing so this is some some common style which i use to st uh, structure my components this is no hard and fast rule this is just for styling and just for uh, having a proper html you can style it as you want it's there are multiple ways of solving the same problem in html css and javascript so yes there is no hard and fast rule so firstly let's structure it properly so firstly i am going to have a sort of uh, what to call it the details uh, section and then i am also going to have um, let's say the the typing challenge section the challenge the original the, the real challenge is going to be here so inside my detail section let's again have a, a another div to contain it i am going to call it details container that seems good enough and inside my details container first of all i want to show uh, the number of words typed words typed and then i am going to show the characters typed 
and then i am going to show the number of mistakes not the mistakes we could even go for mistakes or we can go for the speed i am going for speed it's completely up to you whatever you want to show we are anyways going to find everything about the things that user is typing so yes that's completely up to you for now let's just show a simple let's say mm, how about one or two and three this seems good enough for now at least and let's use this typing challenge container inside our test container let's remove this h1 and instead of that let's use the typing challenge container and of course we are going to pass the words as words the characters as characters and the speed wpm as wpm not words wpm and let's close the tag so yes this looks cool one two three and let's just quickly style it as well so the styling is going to be pretty pretty easy for this one at least uh, so for typing challenge container again display is going to be flex as always i love flexbox don't worry i am going to make some videos on flexbox separately but for now you can just follow along and it's quite simple to understand as well i'm just saying that display is going to be flex and the uh, direction should be column because I need to show details container and the real challenge column wise so yes flex direction column and flex crow as one because i want it to occupy as much space as it can within the column now uh, i am also going to take the details container to style that as well again the same thing it's going to be a flex box display flex and then here i want my flex direction to be row instead of column why because as you can see all the cards are appearing row wise but we need to wrap it as well because they there's a probability that they might go out of the screen in small screen sizes so i just want to wrap it using flex wrap and uh, for future let's do one thing let's create a simple simple class which i'm going to call typewriter uh, container so this is not the the typewriter which we had above this is not this typewriter this is the typewriter which i am calling it i know i'm bad at naming sometimes but just deal with it <laughs> what else can we do so yes let's call it this is the real challenge yay and let's style it as well okay so this is something super cool let's style it as again display is going to be flex as always and i'm just going to create flex grow as one so that it occupies as much space as it can cool this looks good so now before ending this video let's create one more component which is going to be our challenge details cards challenge details card this this and this it's going to be super exciting and super interesting to build it let's quickly jump onto that as always you know the step we have to first create a folder i'm going to name the folder as challenge details card let's create a jsx for it and let's create a css for it as well super let's import it and once again i think i forgot to import the style sheet for this one it just hit me suddenly that i am not able to see the reflect the changes here because i made the flex direction as row for these things but it did not go into row so i just thought that yes i actually forgot to import my style sheet so these are some mistakes that keep happening so as you can see now they are rendered rendered row wise so this is something super cool but let's import our css first in this case so that we are not uh, we don't forget it at the end so yes dot css and as simple as that and i'm going to create a functional component again these are going to take the let these are going to take two values as our our uh, as props because i am going to reuse the same card for displaying all these three things one card three thing that's the benefit of react reusable components as you might remember from the first video of the first project so yes it's going to take the name of the card which i can call it let's say card name and the value of the card as well which is now zero so yes card name and card value which looks quite good enough 
at least for now and now i am going to give it a class name of details card container inside that i am going to have a div name namely card name and here i am just going to display my card name and then one more div having the name of card value and i am going to render the card value here as simple as that and let's do some simple stylings as well in this one again the style is going to be pretty easy but it's going to be pretty big as well because we really want to style this pretty cool so yes um, this is all some simple css you should not waste too much time on it as always you can directly go to my github repository which is github.com slash the lean programmer slash flash type and you can find the whole project here so this is something that can save your time for now but i don't uh, i would suggest you to actually follow along for now because it's quite important to practice without practice it's going to be very difficult to understand uh, and uh, having your hands set on react so yes first of all as you can see displays flex and the direction is going to be column why because we want to show the words the name and the value column wise so yes the direction is column i am going to justify uh, so i i want that to be in horizontal plus vertical center so i am going to align it to center and also justify it to center so by having these two things at center it will automatically become at center i'm also going to give it a flex grow of one so that it occupies as much space as it can and then padding of 10 pixels and then once again the box shadow this is something super cool right i am just I just gave box shadow at one place and I'm just reusing it everywhere. And then once again, the transition, I am, whenever we hover it, we actually need to do some things like this. So the box shadow should increase. So for that, I am going to provide a transition of, uh, let's say, we, let's provide it on all. And this is something super simple. And how about something else from normal this side? Or do you want to keep it normal? If not, let's let's try this one. This is let's try a pre-built suggestion. These are the various transitions. You can study more about them. Let's go with this one. How about this? And then this looks cool. Uh, yes. Now before going further, uh, let's add some little bit more values. So for example, I am going to do some things like on hover it should change and the at least the card name and card value the font size and all those things let's do that very very quickly so that we can again not spend too much time on the uh on the stylings and all because that is something which we can learn very easy the card name uh, is 15 pixel and margin bottom i'm going to give as let's say <coughs> zero um, that's something good enough or let's give the margin at zero itself and card value so these margins and all we can actually decide later on once we have that rendered on the screen font size as 50 pixel because that we need to give it very very bold and very very uh, big in size and margin again as zero so let's now replace we should be i think good enough just the hover effect is missing right now let's replace the challenge details cards here so awesome let's do one thing let's do the challenge details card and as you can see it automatically imported for me if it did not for you simple type it out manually in in here we are not taking the words we are taking the card name and card value card name is going to be words and the card value is going to be words awesome let's copy and paste it to all three places just to have a look at how it looks and replace words by characters here and just one more thing replace words by speed here and type in wpm this looks super awesome i think this is awesome it just seems to me that there's too much margin between this so let's do one more thing let us add uh, inside the card name let us do a margin bottom of 
or uh, let's say minus 15 pixels that seems good enough that seems awesome right this is amazing and just one more thing before we end this video we can add a simple transition of in case of hover we are just going to make the box shadow a little bit darker so how about uh, keeping a 14 pixel here and a 28 pixel here and how about 10 pixel 10 pixel on this side this makes it super amazing you can see now we are having it in a very very cool manner this looks super amazing to me so it, as you can see we are almost proceeding towards our final app so that's it for this video see you in the next video where we are going to conditionally render this or the try again based on a flag and we are also going to style and build these components see you in the next video don't forget to share these videos which are completely for free just for you guys i spent a lot of time just to make this video so that you can learn react just completely from scratch by building all these cool projects which you can add in your resume as well do share this video and do share this series with your friends it's theleanprogrammer.com slash a a m see you in the next video bye bye